Hey there, 276. In this session, we start to really make your developments much, much more mature in the way of a programmer's, um, you know, real schematic for how it is that a program would go together. Everything that you've been doing to this date is what is known as concrete sequential programming. You start with a problem, you build it from top down in the order in which the problems occur. And as you address problem number one, problem number two, problem number three, all the way through the last of the problems, as you address those problems with solutions, finally, by the time we're done at the, I'm going to call it the bottom, right? Because that's actually the direction in which we're making our programs, top to bottom. As we get to the bottom of the program, you go, my, what a good developer am I, and you are done for the day, right? There is no more developing to be done. And what I can tell you is, that's bullshit. There is no way that a real program written to answer numerous different problems potentially over, you know, thousands of cycles, whatever that cycle is, one day, two day, months, who knows what they are. There's no way that that is the case. Here in chapter six, what we do is we develop the idea of modularity. All of your programs are really a collection of smaller individual modules. The way I like to think of this is as Lego building blocks. So a Lego building block has a certain shape, right? And each one of those shapes you can think of as having one very, very small and very, very compartmentalized piece of importance to an overall set right so you might have you know the long eight uh, are they cubes i don't know what you call them eight i'm going to call them daubers eight dauber strip now you've also got um you know a f a, a two by three dauber strip now you've got a four by four dauber strip and each one of those in and of themselves is not good for too much, right? They hurt if you step on them. They suck when you get them stuck in a vacuum cleaner. If the dog eats them, you have to take them to the vet, but they're not useful in any way, shape, or form outside of that. And each one of these modules in a program is kind of the same way. They take care of one very small portion of the overall need of a program. But when you start putting them together, this piece here, this piece here, this piece here, and you start reusing them. That's where modular program design really comes in handy because we can take those small individual programmatic pieces that you're developing and we can reuse them time and time and time again. And what that ends up doing is it really shortens the overall length of your program. It really makes it easier to make those small granular changes we're, we're, we're talking about. So, you know, if you change a corporate color, let's say, from yellow to blue, that's going to be a huge problem for you to have to go out and find every place where you're using a display to show the corporate color, unless you do it modularly, because then we can go right to the display and boom, change that in an instant. That's the kind of power that modular design gives you. What I will tell you is for the next, we have six weeks left in class, including the week of the final, right? For the next six weeks here for class, all of the developments that you'll be doing are going to be made modularly. So here with the chapter six exercises is your first foray into making modular programs. So please take note that the exercises that you're putting together here will not be just all concrete sequential like you've done them to date. You will, you will have modules in there, functions in there. So if you are having any difficulty with this, like always, message me early rather than late in you know a confusion cycle i would much much rather work with you in a question's infancy than wait until you are stymied wait until you have 
little time left, wait until the stress really mounts up. That's not worth it. Message early, get better traction. So have at it, everybody. Functions in Chapter 6.